What is up, y'all? It's 2023 and we are back. I hope everyone's been doing well. What do we have today? We've got a playtest for an upcoming horror game by a solo dev. It's called The Ninth Charnel. Wait, what's a charnel? I hear you asking. Yeah, I had the same thing, so I googled it. Charnel is apparently short for charnel house, which is a vault or building where human skeletal remains are stored. So there you go. Let's check it out. Creepy figures, check. No idea where I am, check. Here goes nothing. People might call that theft, but equip. Oh, can't take that with us. we supposed to do? Maybe go here. Yes. Oh. That definitely seems to have unlocked something. Let's go see what it is. I'm sure it's perfectly fine, right? Right? Oh, you have to hold C to crouch. Okay. Wait, we must have missed something. Something like that, for example. Thank you. Let's try this again. Aha! Wait, what? All that just to go outside? Oh, okay. And visually, it's looking pretty good so far for a playtest. Definitely got a vibe going. Devil's house. Promising. 
promising. Uh, I'm gonna leave this open just in case we need an exit strategy. Oh. That, it was like that when I got here, I promise. Okay, so the battery can run out. Aw, little elephant. What do we have in here? I don't know if this is interactive. So I guess we just keep moving. Hello. Let's just close that for now. Dear Miss Charlotte, the purpose of this letter is to inform you of my intention to resign from my position as Senior Geneticist, Department of Molecular Ecology at Epsilon Genome Research Institute, effective two weeks from now on April 21st, 2024. As my career goals have changed since I started working here, it feels like it's time for me to pursue my dream career that best reflects my current goals. I'm grateful for the opportunities you provided me during my time at Epsilon. If you need any assistance as I transition out of my current role in the next two weeks, please let me know. As we move forward, I hope we can stay in touch. Thank you, Christopher Harrison. That would be this guy. Okay. So we have a computer, which it really wants us to use. There's some kind of motion blur going on, even though I've turned it off. We have a basement with what looks like a puzzle. Bunch of empty drawers. No me. And lots of hallways, which is either really good or really bad. That remains to be seen. So we can go into the basement, but who in their right mind would go into the basement of the devil's house? Let's pass. Excellent. So no basements. Let's go play on the computer. Or not. So we're going to need a password, huh? As Corp Genome Institute is now accepting new applications for senior research scientists. Password on the back, no. Biochemical molecular genetics applicants must have a solid understanding of biological science. PhD and an experience of 10 plus years are required for anyone interested in conducting research in biochemical or molecular genetics. As they advance in this career path, they may be given opportunities to participate in research projects or conduct their own. Send us your resume and CV by visiting our website. Uh, experiments conducted 1485, you say. Is there a password on here? There isn't. Unlucky. Could it be on the back of this card, maybe? No. Okay. I think we are going to have to look for the password. You've guessed it. In the basement. 
At the end, we are all the same. Okay. Uh. Oh. So we just make sure that they're all the same at the end. There we go. Sarah. Uh, huh. Interesting. Some face in the background there. Was it here too? No, it wasn't. Huh. Very weird. Username Modegic, I guess. Password, maybe? 15. Oh, that's a battery. Sarah. Maybe Sarah is the password? We don't have the battery in our inventory, though. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, howdy. Um, don't mind me. Let's, let's try this. Uh, wait. And then password, maybe Sarah? Nope. That's not it. Okay, I guess we're gonna go say hi to... Yep. Of course we are. Because why wouldn't we? Yes, the light, please. Thank you. I'm gonna close that. <laughs> so, you happened. Okay, we got some pills. Thank you for that. Faith. Hope. Love. Surely there's none of these things in here. Believe in yourself. Some creepy drawings with some inverted rotation, which is making this very interesting. Ooh, we have feet. Do not underestimate the power of feet. And we have no password. Scare? No scare. Okay. Okay, so we came from there, so we could end up having to go there, but for now, let's check out another creepy picture, yoink the battery, mess with the TV, unforge, TV does not work. This has to be another scare, right? Just a space. Okay. Well. Oh boy.
another TV, painting clock. Um, let's leave the battery for now. Doesn't seem like we're running out of hallways anytime soon. Oh. Please take your seat. So, what is your name? Thank you. I am Christopher Harrison. Hello, Christopher. Please tell me about your field of research. I'm a genetic engineer. I work for Epsilon Research Institute. I have contributed to over 10 global research projects with a highly knowledgeable and skilled team. We have done extensive research on genetic formulation at the Epsilon Research Lab, through which we have successfully created various new transplantation of cells, tissues, or whole organs from artificially modified animals and plants. Have you submitted your papers to the board? Yes. Okay. Well, we do have a copy of your paper, and we have looked upon it quite extensively. And do I say this? The nature of your project is quite sensitive, especially the type of resources you have used for your research, but also the level of modifications you have committed to them before transplantation. Did you guys receive a valid permit before conducting it? Yes, our team did. Did you? Okay, let's go with it. We'll forward your paper. Our panel will notify you when the next circular begins. Ooh, 1914. Could that be our password? Uh, okay, fine. I'll bite. Who is that the password I am looking for? Uh, I guess so. Jump scare. 1914. Could be the password we're looking for. Oh, wow, the battery drains way faster than I thought. Oh, God. No, please. I don't know if I should be running. Also, what's in here? Don't know how I equipped. No, please. I so do not like watching TV. It's so loud, too. Let's see if this is it. And then the password. Yes. That's a pretty picture. Okay, something on the door with this shape, I guess. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, we're still alive, so that must count for something. Hello? Oh. I shall obey, for you told me to go here. Hello? 
friendly. Please no kill. Guess we don't need the flashlight. I mean... Lost the flashlight too. And we're back in the house. him mm. no thank you ha. easy jukes but do we actually go in here I feel like that's not the right way this might be though hi Or I misspelled Eddie. One can never really know. He needed? Really? Wow. You died. Weird. Okay. Uh-oh. No. No. Stop hitting him. Please. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. I think. Wait. We can't actually go down here, can we? No. We cannot. Am I still crouching? Yeah. Okay, so... Nothing here. Maybe this is safe? Hello? Uh, 
Okay, so let's take a look. A key? Well... Where do you expect me to find a key? So now what? Can I steal a key from you? I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. This guy's not moving. Call this progress. 